everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP server, everybody. How are you all doing today? I am doing very, very good. Guys, we have an action-packed episode of Purge for you all today. It's going to be very, very fun, and I'm very excited. Today, guys, I'd like to say that Spawn is pretty much done. DJ has been working his butt off, and he's been working on fixing up the Purge Spawn. I'm going to go a little bit further away, and you guys can take a look at what it looks like now. So, as you can see, the main part of the Purge Spawn is completely surrounded by all these custom-made trees. And if we go into the center here, you will see that he has really worked on the architecture of the center of spawn and it looks amazing in my opinion it just looks big props to dj for working on this it looks great uh he's got the sea lanterns here for lighting it looks really good it's not done yet uh, he still has to fill in i think he's still working on like this pathing and everything here i think he's still working on this and the roads aren't completely done yet but it's looking good it's looking good so today guys we have a pretty action-packed episode for you all besides this part of me looking at spawn we're also going to be pranking someone today so get excited for that we're going to be playing a prank on dan or prime mc i have a few ideas for what kind of prank we're going to be doing and uh later in the episode you guys will be able to see the prep work for that and also i have begun building something new at my house which i'll be showing off to you guys today as well so it's a pretty action-packed episode one of my goals with these purge episodes from now on guys is to make them really like so much f more full of stuff. I want to put at least two hours into every single purge episode with planning, filming, recording, editing, all that sort of stuff, just so I can make these purge episodes feel like these amazing episodes that you guys can always come and watch from me. I want to make them really high quality, all that sort of stuff. So hopefully we can continue to do that. But before we do anything, if we head up here, DJ has included a little bit of a ladder into the top. And if we come in here, this room, I will light this up, actually has a purpose. This is for the purge night player stats. So every single player on Purge has their stats board for their number of wins on the server and their number of kills on Purge Night. So we have everybody, Trident, Relics, DJ, Prez, Dan, myself, Kazuto, Fluffy, Gapple, Trio, Cryogen, Eric, and Dayton. Everybody has their names. You can see like Prime won the first Purge Night. He's got three kills, one win. Prez got one kill. DJ got one kill. I got one kill. Uh, who else got kills? Trio got a kill. And where's Trident? Trident, I don't know if he got a kill actually, but DJ has worked on that and it's pretty cool that he did that for us. So it's it's just really awesome that he's been working on spawn. Probably in the next few episodes, we're going to get started. Hopefully, as, as long as the roads are finished, we're going to get started on building our first shop at Purge. On Purge, at Purge, what am I saying? On the Purge SMP server, so it's going to be pretty cool. But anyway guys, I'll not hold you longer. Let's get right into the extra parts of the episode extra parts. I am, I'm sorry, I can't speak this morning, but let's get into the rest of the episode. Alrighty guys, we are back at the base, and as you can see, there is something standing in front of me, because my screen is closer up to my face, but it is the new building that I've begun working on. As you can see, it's pretty much done. I just need to do a little bit more touching up, and it should be completed. As you can see, it is a stable for horses. If we go inside, we've got a nice gravel pathway going in, and there's different stables. I, there are four stables for four horses that we can have. And I just think it's a pretty neat feature that I decided to add. I wanted to have a horse stable because I've got the cow farm here. And I was like, if I ever got horses, I would want to store them in a different spot. So I decided to keep the cow farm here. Uh, we're going to be moving the wheat farm, expanding it. There's going to be another building going here. Uh, it might be like a, a greenhouse kind of thing. But now we have the horse stables, which are pretty neat. I've put the lighting in. As you can see, it's kind of got this roofing effect. You can't see the light. You can only see the light if you get in certain locations, so it looks to... It sort of gives off the effect that it just has light up there, but really, if we even stand on, like, a slab, you can see that there are just torches placed up there. But other than that, that's the stable that I've been working on. It looks pretty neat. I've also worked on, if you can see over there, I'm beginning to bring the, the sugar cane out along the entire pond. So if we turned up our render distance to, like, 32 and we could see the whole pond... Eventually my goal is to get it surrounding the entire pond because once that stuff is all fully grown We can have a gigantic wheat farm and it'll be just it'll just be really cool Which will be nice So the other thing that we came here to prepare for is we are going to be pranking someone today ladies and gentlemen So I don't want to die from this prank So we're going to be putting away our armor on our armor stand uh, I enchanted a full set of diamond armor by the way after purge night we're going to be putting away all of our different armor on our armor stand, and we're going to be looking for the perfect materials for this prank. Now, we're going to need a few things. One, we're going to need... Where is it? We're going to need a bucket. 
We have 10 buckets already. 10 buckets I don't think will be enough. So we're going to go with, we're going to have three more buckets as well. So we're going to make three more buckets like so. And we're going to get 13 buckets in total. And now what we're going to do is we're going to store the rest of this junk away that we really don't need here. And then the plan is we're going to be flooding one of Dan's buildings at his bases. I know, sounds pretty evil, and it is, but we're going to be flooding one of Dan's bases today, guys, as a little bit of a prank. So what we're going to do here is we're going to begin to fill up all of our buckets with the water sources from here, and we just have a ton of buckets now. Let's move the wheat down here. Water buckets up. So these are all the water buckets we have. We go to Dan's base. We're going to be making an infinite source there as well, because I don't want to have to go down to the ocean by his base the entire time. But the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a sign. Do we have any signs already made? I think we do. Good. So we have some signs. And what else do we want to bring? Uh, torches. Actually, we already have 34. We should be good now. Oh, before we do anything, I want to make some more wheat. Here we go. Let's just make a bunch of wheat. That way we can be good on food for this whole prank. Let's just make... Let's make 12 pieces, I think. That'd be good. There we go. So we have 16 pieces of wheat in total. We should be good. And now that we have all this prepared, we I showed you guys this. There's going to be a new building coming here fairly soon. I'm excited for that. And now I'm going to head over to Dan's base and I will see you when we get there. Alrighty guys, so we are now here at Dan's place. As you can see, there's his giant barn. There's his horse stable. Here's his underground weird thing that he has. Not sure what the point of this is. If we go down, I'd like to actually check this before we do anything because I don't know what this is. Like for real, I have no idea what this could be. But what is it? It's like... I guess it's like an underground thing. I don't know, but it's cool. But anyway, we are going to be filling up one of Dan's buildings with water today, guys. That's right. That's the prank you guys were guessing for. That is what we are going to be doing. We're going to be filling his main house with water. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make two infinite water pools. We're going to make one infinite water pool. That way we can just constantly get more water. And we're going to be getting rid of our entire inventory and filling it with the water buckets because this is going to get pretty, pretty messy. I'm going to swap all of my items with the water buckets for now. That way we can just have water buckets at the ready constantly. And just, we're going to completely fill his house with water. So, this is going to be fun. I think this could be really cool. Um, once we finish this, I'm going to tell Dan to, if he gets on the server, make sure he's recording when he comes to his base. And yeah, so anyway guys, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to speed this part up. So you guys are going to see me fill this place with water, sped up, and then we'll be back afterwards. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. Town to town
town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Alrighty guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Purge SMP server. If you did, please be sure to leave a comment down below and go tweet at Dan telling him that his house is filled now. I'll read this off. Hey Dan, your house looked a little empty, so I filled it up for you. I hope you enjoy from Linky. Completely filled up all the rooms as you saw in the speed art, the uh, speed art, the speed run, the speed filling. Uh, the top is filled, everything's filled. So hopefully Dan likes that. After this recording, I'll message him on Skype and say, hey, if you spawn at your house, make sure you're recording when you log in. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please sure leave a like down below and a comment. And if you're not subscribed already, we're almost to 2,000 subscribers. So please be sure to subscribe. And as always, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.